Hi, Bo Sturk here. Today we're going to do a two minute video on how to mark and clip a queen. We've got a box and we've got a little battering box in here with some queens in it. I take it. We've got her in a battery box to kind of help her so secure. And you'll see these from a lot of commercial beekeepers. They'll sell bees in these little battery boxes. And we've got her sequestered in a little cage right here. She's locked down. I'm a bee. And we'll take her, get her out. Come here, Mom. Come on. Come on, cooperate. Come on. Of course, she wants to go to the other end as soon as you want her to come out. They never come out when you want them to on the right time. Smoke underneath here. There, I got her. All right. You want to hold them very gently. You don't want to squeeze that abdomen at all by any means. And I'll usually grab her, try to get her roller over here on my fingers. Get her to hold on to my forefinger and then bring my center finger around and just kind of grab a hold of her so that I'm exposing her both her wings. Saying that, I will grab a pen, dab a little tiny piece, drop a point of uh, a little paint on her thorax. You have to blow it off to dry. It'll dry fairly fast, it's just having a little bit of sun on there that, that quickly. Mm -hmm. I've got my little handy dandy scissors here. Um, little embroidery scissors work really well. I just want to bring that fore wing up and clip it off and just give it a little nip. Take a quarter to a third off. You don't want to take too much. You don't want to get the underwing, the hind wing in there either clipped. But that'll uh, prevent her from trying to swarm off. If she does try to swarm, she'll be hopping around the ground. You'll find her real easily. And saying that, uh, she will. Most of the bees will not leave in this form. So it was easy, easy and quick as that. Just trying to grab her. And now I'm gonna put her back in the cage. And she's got a bunch of attendants in here with her that'll take care of her and feed and groom her and pass her pheromones around. So she'll stay active right there. And we don't even have to put her in the battering box. We can just leave her on top in, inside the box, ready to go. Simple, easy technique. Anybody can do it. Give it a try. Enjoy beekeeping.